Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, my name is Zadia Krom and I will be your host for the semifinals of the Grammar Nazi of our senior, most senior group. So this um, Pro Linguist Bachelor of Linguistic Wizards is brought to you by English Olympiad. Let me give you a quick overview of English Olympiad. It started back in 2017 with a vision to take out all the talents and all the leaders out there which are going unseen in our country. So what we have done is we have made English Olympiads seasons one and two. This is going to be a third season, but it won't be the typical season that you see that we have in real life. This will be an online uh, event uh, done by the English Olympiad in which we have a staggering amount of participants. To be fair, we have more than 3,500 participants participating from more than 70 different institutions. And with that being said, uh, we, I would like to introduce the participants we have for our semifinals. At first, we have with us Janatul Ferdos Nipa. I would like to welcome Janatul Ferdos Nipa to the studio. Hello, Nipa. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Assalamu alaikum. This is Janatul Ferdos Nipa. Currently, I'm studying genetic engineering and biotechnology from East West University. I'm in my first year. My hobbies are reading books and watching anime. I have also interest in public speaking and model even. So that's all. Thank you. What's your favorite anime? Um, uh, so far it is Death Note. Awesome. Okay. So uh, the next participant uh, we have with us is KM Omar Farouk. Hello, Farouk. Could awesome. you please introduce yourself? Yes, sure. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Kemal Farooq. I'm currently enrolled at North South University. I, my hobbies include traveling, reading books, playing various types of sports. I also like to learn soft skills. That's all. Awesome. Where's the most beautiful place you've seen when you've gone to travel? Obviously, Rangamati Kaptai. That part. Awesome. I went there too, and it was a really nice place. Okay, yeah. so uh, next with us, we have Nuba Subhas Jodri. If you could have her up on our stage with us. Hello, Suba. Could you please introduce yourself? Um, could you please wait? I, I think your mic is muted. You are not audible yet. We seem to be having a little bit of technical issues. We'll resolve that shortly, no matter. Uh, in the meantime, we could move on to our fourth participant, Sabikun Arahi Madri, if she is with us right now. Uh, hello, Himadri. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Hi. Wa alaikum uh, Could you please introduce yourself? To the Sonic. Hello. Could could you please introduce yourself? Shona just see you to keep up it. Assalamualaikum. I'm Himadri. Dhaka. Psychology. Oh, what's more there? More there. So, um, my hobby is reading. I read a lot. Awesome. Like, what kind of books do you like? What genre? Excuse me. What genre of books do you like to read the most? <laughs> I can't hear you again. Okay, I can say that slowly. What genre of books do you like the most? Uh, it depends. Actually, a lot of fantasy or supernatural books. And right now, I'm reading a lot of self-help awesome awesome okay uh if we could go back to our third participant if she's with us right now okay hello, hello. Uh, uh, you may introduce yourself i am nubal suba Chaudhary. i'm currently an undergraduate student of geology at the university of dhaka and my hobby is i love to watch movies and listening to music etc what's, what's your favorite movie it's a movie of Quentin Tarantino, and uh, it has a bad word in it, so I can't say it right now in All life. Right. 
It's all right. Okay. Uh, then we have with us our very amazing adjudicator, Upoma Ahmed. I would like to give the floor to Upoma Abu. We have not connected with her yet, it seems. Let us go to the comments. Uh, uh, let's see. Mohammed Maimon bin Mafu. Zaid Bhai is my favorite host. Thank you. Uh, MD Sha Shamil Hassan Ifti says, Best of luck, Nubaha Sapu. Mahima Kabir says, Great to know you all. Uh, San Shakila Zafrin says, Best wishes, Kafi Bhaiya. And we have with us Ryan Rashid who says, Really great to see all of them. Sanjeev Hassan Sajid says, Brilliant participants. Uh, give your Mahir Mariam says, Give your best. Of course, if they want to give their best, then of course they will. Okay, we have our uh, adjudicator back with us. I would like to give the floor to Upuma. Uh Thank you so much, Zaid. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yes, yes, we can. You are. All right. Uh, so, welcome all the participants, and uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, English Olympiad. Uh, for this wonderful initiative amidst this quarantine. We all know it's a global crisis period. However, it's a very uh, innovative idea to keep the youth busy in doing such wonderful and productive things. So good luck to all the participants. And uh, I would like to uh, say that it's my pleasure to be here as an adjudicator. And I forgot to give my introduction. I am Upam Ahmed. I am working as a lecturer in English department. Uh, of Kanjin University of Bangladesh and been working as an English trainer and uh, communication expert since past five years. So looking forward to see the enthusiastic performance of the participants. Good luck. Over okay. to you, Seth. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words and your expertise. Uh, I would like all my participants back on the studio. Hello, guys. Welcome back. So now what I will do is I will give, uh, provide you the details about the first round that you're going to have. Um, apologies, we are having a little bit of technical problems. We'll be solving that accordingly. Okay, so the first round is called Choose a Chit, where you will be given four chits, numbered one, two, three, and four. You'll be choosing from those chits as I call your names. And according to the chits you've chosen, there will be a hidden topic. Uh, and according to that topic, you will be given three questions, each question carrying five marks. You, There are no negative markings for a wrong answer. And you will answer them one, one by one. Is that understood, everybody? Yes. 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 Awesome. OK. Uh, so the numbers are one two, three, and four as appearing on this screen. I'll be calling your names one by one. First off, we have uh, Jannatul Ferdos Nipa. Could you please choose a box? Um, I'm, I'm choosing number three. All right, box number three. Then KM uh, Omar Farouk, could you please choose a box? Number one. Awesome. OK, next up, we have Nubaha Subha Choudhury. Could you please choose a box? Subha, could you please choose a I'm box? I'm going to go with number two. Awesome. OK. So that leaves number box number OK, I got that. Uh, next, to, like uh, the other participant, we just disconnected. But no worries. That leaves the fourth box for Sabikun Araki Mantri. We can write that down. Awesome. OK. Uh, so uh, I will be calling your names one by one. Here are the topics, uh, verbals, analogy, tense, and clause. So as I call your names, you're going to come up and answer the questions. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes. I guess so. Oh, that's awesome. OK. So first up, we have Jannatul Ferdos Nipa for our first Choose a Chit round. Are you excited, Nipa? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Are you tensed or nervous? Um, yeah, I'm nervous, a little bit of nervous. <laughs> There, there's no no one were, were happy well, no one was happy when they were anxious so just live it be confident and you'll get through this okay so uh, your topic is tense the questions have appeared on your screen 
you can answer them one by one. So first off, we have question. We have the question. I never had to think about my health before this. This is the first dash completed with the correct order of tense. I think we have a technical issue. Please stand by. Uh, let's go towards the comments for a second. Kanoj Mozumdar says, "Good luck, Nipa." Shabab Junaid also says, "Good luck, Nipa." You seem to having. So you seem to be having a lot of good luck here. Okay, let's get back to the questions. The first question is, I never had to think about my health before this. This is the first dash, completed with the correct order of tense. Um, this is the first time I am having problem with my health. Okay. So in the second question, we have Juliet started working here about six years ago. Juliet has dash. Complete the sentence. Mm, Juliet has Juliet has completed her. Um, Juliet has been living here for six years. All right. So we move on to question number three. I didn't think it would be good, but it's really bad. Full stop. It's even worse. Dash. Complete the sentence. It's even worse than I thought. All right. Then we'll move on to the last question. Question number four. Number four. I haven't talked to my parents since Christmas. It was Christmas when dash. Complete the sentence, please. Uh, it, it was a Christmas when I had to call my parents. Awesome. That marks the end for Nipe's first round. Next up, we have KM Omer Farouk. Let's get Farouk up on our studio with us. Hi, Farouk. Welcome back. Thank you. Awesome. So the questions will appear in front of you, and you will be answering them. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. That's good. So your topic is variables, and your questions will be appearing on screen in a few minutes. OK. In the meantime, let's attend. OK, we have the questions. Question number one, the thief arrested for robbery shot at the security guard. Anna, could you please wait for yes, a second sure. as we solve something? Uh, while that's being solved, let's go on to the Facebook comments. Mehnua Tahsin says, good luck, Kafi Bhaiya. Uh, then Sami Abdullah says, good luck, Kafi. See, all of you are getting so many wishes of good luck that you're bound to have good luck. It's just written. All right, uh, Abu Kai says, brother, don't panic, be yourself. That's really important. You be you, and then you'll get the confidence to do it. OK, uh, uh, identify the variables in each of the sentences. Uh, sentence one, the thief arrested for the robbery shot at the security guard. Number one. Oh, shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. X second. Could you please second that? Okay. Um, what you're going to say? Uh, the the verbals that are underlined. You're going to tell me what kind of verbal it is. All right. All right. Okay. The thief arrested for the robbery shot at the security guard. What kind of verbal is arrested? You can take your time to think, it's all right. No, I think I'm going to pass all of it as I don't have any idea on it. Sorry. You are going to pass the like whole round or just pass the question number one? Yes, the whole round because verbals weren't there when the mail was sent. Like you have to prepare on verbals as all well. Right. 
All right. Yes. Um, I think we can move on to our yeah, next participant, Nubahu Suba Chaudhuri. In the meantime, let's, let's look, have a look at the comments. Oh, Satir, your accent. I'm not sure who he's talking about. Um, all right. Uh, Zara Ahmed says, good luck, Paya. Sabrina Maimon Mia says, thanks, EO, for organizing such a great event. All right. Okay, we have with us Nubaha Suha Chaudhuri. Welcome back, Suha. Thank you. You will have your questions appear on your screen in a few moments. Okay. So your topic is analogy. So your first question is elusive and capture. Which other option makes sense? A, B, C, or D? Uh, have you heard the question, Subha? Yes, I have. All right. You could answer question number one first. Mm. I'm going to go answer, with right. A, persuasive, convince. All right. Then we can move on to the second question. Peccadillo and terf tripling. Which other option makes sense a b c or d i'm gonna go with d awesome then i can okay then the other questions will appear on your screen shortly so we have question number three with us Luminary illustration and which other option makes sense? Choose it. A, B, C, or D. I'm going to go with um, C, I think. All right, then we can have your fourth and final question appear on the board. Gravel and servility matches with what? A, B, C, or D? C. All right, that marks the end for Super's turn for this round. We move on to Sabikun Arahimadri, if we have her with us. At the same time, we read some comments, if that takes much time. Tahia Tarunum Aboni says, great. Mahima Kabir says, yes, yes, it's happening. All right, uh, so we have your questions on up on the board in a few moments. You can answer them one by one. Uh, if you could please wait. Okay, so it's the clause. Does no, I'm giving you the questions in a skin. second. It's all right. um, excuse okay. me, please repeat the question again. Okay, so what you will have to do is identify the clause. Uh, okay, you get that? Have you understood? I'm sorry. My net is really shaky. So what you will have to do is identify what clause this is, all right? Okay. 
the first think... one uh, okay huh. okay the first one is the jury uh, i mean the main and the that is the clause it's, uh, we um, couldn't get you could... clause, I think. okay subjective clause nice so i move on to question number two excuse after me after we re we can move on to question number two now i'm sorry i can't hear you again we can move on um, to question number two i'm sorry we can... i actually okay, cannot so... hear you it's all right we can try that again uh we can move on to question number two if you could give your answer you could give your answer one by one i don't need to read it out to you just give me your answer one two three and four please okay i'll do that so for one that zuri believed is the main sentence and the man was guilty it is the uh, clause subjective clause and after you remodeled our house we remodeled our house is the clause and we moved to italy is main sentence in three mary heard a frightening noise is the main sentence and that would scare the bravest of people is the clause okay you would need um, you need to um tell us the type of clause it is type of clause okay so after we remodeled our house it's um I'm sorry, I forgot about the, the type of clause for two and for can three. Can move on to number a, two then? It's a causative, I think. And four number was four. he confessed, it was the main sentence. And that he was guilty was the clause. It was subjective clause. Okay. So we are done with Thema three. Then we can move on to our second around if we have all our participants back with me on studio let's have everyone back hello everyone welcome back now what we will do is we will move on to our second round which is the called the win or win round where you will be separated into two teams of two in this round everyone will have a partner and you will be asked questions from anywhere on the topics you can discuss the questions between yourselves and then you can give me your final answer so the teams are team one uh, team one is Janatul Ferdos Nipa and Sabikun, Sabikun Ara Himadri and team two is Omar Farouk, Nuba, Omar Farouk and Nuba Husuba uh, so I will be giving you five questions I think 13 you will have two marks for every right answer and there will be no negative marking. So for the first team, we have Himalji and Nipa with us. Let's move on to the questions. The questions will be appearing in front of you in a few moments. Are you guys excited for this round? Remember, teamwork is key. So we have the first question. The children singing and laughing wake me up. What type of verbal is underlined in the sentence above is girand 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 hello okay we have your we have your answer are you sure that's the final answer you both conferred on yes girand okay the second question we have his co-workers praise both his determination then a b c or d It's C, and his attention to detail. Okay, so do you both of you agree on answer number C? You have an answer from both of you for question number two. Yeah, it is C, option C. All right, we have two C. Then for the third question, we have, if you help me, comma, I will help you. Make it simple. I will help you on the condition of your helping me. I will help you on the condition of you helping me. All right. Does Nipa agree on that? Okay. I will help you on the condition of your helping me. Okay. 
do both of your answers match? Yes. All right, then we can move on to question number four. I think Mr. Wilson, dash, in this school since 2005 or maybe earlier. You can choose from the options A, B, C or D. Uh, Himadri, is it B or C? I am confused. Thank Mr. Wilson. You can take your time I'll and go with between C. yourselves. Okay. Pass so, uh, do you guys agree on the answer that it's for C? Nipa, I need a confirmation from you that you agree the answer is 4C. Uh, C, okay. I will go with C. Let me move on to the last question of this round. Mallory likes to dance in the rain. What type of verbal is underlined in the sentence above? Infinitive. Audrey? Yes, infinitive. Thank you. Okay, that marks the end of your round for team one. Then we move on to our second team, Nubaha Suwajo. Do you know more for coffee? I welcome you back to the studio. Now you will be having your team based round, which, as the name suggests, requires teamwork. So for the first question, we have the art studio is spacious, pleasantly cluttered, A, B, C, or D. I think it's D. D and D. well linked. Yes. Yeah. All right. Apo, do you think so, it's D? Yeah, I think it's D. Okay. Okay. Then you go. You have got for answer D. Then the second question will be appearing on your screens shortly. Okay. So your second question is: He is an intimate friend of mine, as yours. Make the sentence comparative. He is not a less intimate friend of mine than yours. Omar Farouk, what do you think, Kafi? Apo, please uh, again say the answer. Uh, he is not a less intimate friend of mine than yours. Than yours, yes. That's my answer. All right. Then we can move on to the third question. The third question is, I stopped watching the game before the end, but I thought we A, had won, B, have won, C, have been winning, D, or will have won. Which is it? A, B, C, or D? I think it's A. What do you think, Gaffi? Uh, Apu, what do you think about the option D, will have won? Because we'll he has stopped one, watching the game before the match ended. So he will have won. But will, uh, it should be would have won. Oh, I think. Okay, would have won. I because think there is thought and it's past. Yes. So, so which one I'm do you gonna choose? I'm going to go with A. Yes, then go with A. I think I A think. should be the right answer. So I stopped yes. watching the game before the end, but I thought we had won. All right. One. Yes. All right. We can move on to the next question. There are many ways of breaking a heart. What type of verbal is underlined in the sentence above? Apu, your call. There are many ways of breaking a heart. What type of verbal mm, is underlined I, in the sentence above? I think it's a gerund. 
Okay. Then we have our last question for this team, which is, can you tell me the time of his arrival? Make it complex. Can you tell me when he arrives? When he will... When he arrives, yes. It will be in the present form. Could you please repeat your answer, please? The final answer, please. Can you tell can me you when tell he me? arrives? Can you tell me when he arrives? Yes. Okay. So that marks the end of round two. That went pretty smooth. Thanks to the participants, quick responses and extreme confidence. Thank you to the participants. If we can have all four of my participants back at the studio with us. All right. I believe we have all four of them back. Uh, Himadri, could you please turn on your video if that's all right? The third, so the third round, as you might already know, is a rapid fire round. And as the name suggests, you will have 90 seconds. You will have every question coming for you one by one. You will have 10 questions, two marks for every right answer, and minus one mark for a negative answer. You may choose to pass on a question by saying pass. Have you all understood the rules of the rapid fire round? Yes. 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 Awesome. Okay. So I'll, this is an individual event, if I must uh, mention that. So I'll be calling you one by one. You will have you'll have ninety seconds to answer, and there'll be you can pass on the questions if you want to. So okay. that's the general overview. If you have any questions, you may ask before we move on to the rapid fire round. Are there any questions? I'll take that as a no. All right. Uh, then one by one, I'll be calling you. First up, we have Jannatul Ferdos Nipa. Good luck for the rapid fire round, which has been fiery all around. Let's read some of the Facebook comments about this. Sadha Samantha says, best of luck, everyone. Uh, MM Abir Rahman says, all the best, guys. Samia offers Shruti, says rapid fire is fabulous. I agree because the rapid fire round seems to be the most awaited round of them all because it's fast points and fast lo losing of points. Okay. Uh, uh, Sanjidul Hassan Sajid says, uh, you guys will kill it. Rizana Faria says, you guys are awesome. Uh, I think uh, we will move on to this third round as far when we are, when our graphics team gets to it all right so let's see uh, let's see more of the facebook comments uh sanjida kabir says excited for this round uh, and abira rahman says intense round i think the word intense really portrays the uh characteristics of this round because you're going to have every question fired at you at immense speed and you're going to answer with immense confidence as well as i've seen before and i expect this semi-final to be as heated up as possible Sifat says this round is very exciting. I see the uh, audience is very excited. Is Are all my participants excited as well? Yes, definitely. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Al Fatir says you guys are awesome. If the Rahman says may the best person win. All right. We have our rapid fire round up. First up, we have uh, Janatul Ferdos Nipa, who will be staying with us in the studio. Is your blood fiery enough to overcome this rapid fire? Yes, I am like a okay, like little bit nervous. Yes. It's all right. Don't be nervous. There's nothing to be anxious about. These are only a few questions. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, so the questions up on the board, you can say your answers one by one. Do I need to read the questions out for you if you if you have a problem? So uh, well, number one, pass. OK, number two. OK, uh, so uh, I'll read them out for you. Number two, the building is 72 feet wide. So what is the answer? A, B, C or D? Uh, a. 
Okay. For number three, we have uh, Buffon uh, and Dignity. So our answer is A, braggart modesty, B, blackguard strength, C, laughing stock ridicule, D, imposter, and identification. Which is the answer? A, B, C, or D? Pass, pass, pass. Okay. For number four, we have he is as strong as a lion. Make it comparative. Um, he, he's not, uh, he's not stronger than a lion. Okay, so we have uh, question number five up for you in a few moments. Uh, um, five, rout and defeat, uh, which matches? A, ovation applause, B, uh, triumph and failure, C, grief loss, D, pathway and ruin. Which is the answer? A, B, C, or D? B, B. All right, B. so for, for the sixth question, we have uh, in a request for a proposal, there will sometimes be a, an executive summary required, and the number of appendices will vary. Uh, C, uh, an executive summary required, and the number of appendices that will vary. D, an executive summary required, and the number of appendices will vary. Which is the answer, A, B, C, or D? Uh, D. Okay, for number seven, we have last shoe. A, cuff trousers, B, finale cartoon. C, approval criticism. Achha, okay, pass, 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 pass. Eight. Okay, eight. Answer quick. And uh, um, uh, eight B. Okay, nine. What? Fill in the blanks. Um, All right. If I designed, if I designed. The time of your rapid fire round has elapsed. Next up, we have with us game Omar Taru for our rapid fire round. Okay, as our team does that, Tanzin Bintanawar says you are doing great. Uh, Salman Rumi says the clock is turning red. That's the thing, the clock turning red turns on a button inside the participant's head that they need to get going. All right, uh, we should be having our third participant, our second participant up with us, KM Omer Paros, for our rapid fire round. Uh, Okay, we have him with us. Hello, Farouk. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, so we will have your questions up for you in a moment. Sure. Okay, so let's start. Question number one. If I had not intervened at the right moment, Jim Dash arrested. Input a conditional. Would have been. Okay, number two. Trade and abusive, a monologue lengthy, the aphorism boring, see prologue, prologue um, conclusive, D, and chromium. Okay. Uh, three, we shall go out, make it imperative. Let's go out. Four, these machines are made that are made in local factory are working well. Let's make it simple. The local factory machines are working well. Okay. For number five, we have sign and zodiac, which matches A, B, C, or D. Number B. Okay, so we move on to the next question. Question number six. Delighted with the opportunity to learn. Christine took the internship in New York. Identify the verbal. Could you please identify the verbal? Delighted. Okay. For number seven, we have the management is thoroughly bad. Uh, make it complex. It's the management and it is thoroughly bad. Okay. Complete each sentence in such a way that is similar as possible in meaning to the sentence above it. We are spending uh, 300 pounds in repairs before we sell the car. The second sentence being, by the time we sell the car, we dash what? We would have spent... Three thousand dollars, three hundred dollars, or euros. Okay. For number nine, we have. I never had to think about my health before this. This is the first dash. All right. That I marks the end go. of our yeah. rapid fire round for Omar Farouk. Let's move on to our third participant, Nuba Husuba Choudhury. As our team being brings up Subha. Okay, uh, hello Subha, welcome back. 
Are you fired um, up and ready for the rapid fire round? I guess I am. Okay, let's do this. All right, uh, here are the questions. Question number uh, one, complete each sentence in such a way that it is sim as similar as possible in meaning to the sentence above it. Number one, I didn't think it would be good, but it's really bad. It's even worse blank. It's even worse than I thought it would be. Okay, number two, a swimming snake with him. Here, swimming is which part of speech? Um, an adjective. All right. Number three, ap apocryphal and authenticity. Pass, A, Nepal. Pass. Okay. Number four, we have remembered the boss, the dismissed workers were marching along the A, B, C, or D. Uh, A. Okay. So for number no, five. No, sorry, what, sorry. Um, we cannot change your answers. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. A. Number five, what, we have what would have happened? Enter con conditionals. What would have happened if I had not seen you? Okay. For number six, we have ricochet and bullet. A. Saw falcon. B. Aim crossbow. C. PS dart. D. Caron ball. Choose. Um, buffs. Okay, number uh, C, juggernaut inexorable. A, B, C, or D? Um, buffs. Okay, eight, I might have provided a happier. Enter conditional. Um, uh, ending. All right, so that marks the end of your rapid fire round. Next up, we have our uh, last but not least contestant, Sabikun Ara Himatri with us in the studio. Hello and welcome back, Kimadri. I'm assuming you're ready for the rapid fire round. Your questions will be appearing in front of your screen shortly. All right. Question number one. They are sure the extra planning will make a difference in the end. Identify the verbals. Okay, Madri, do we have you with us? Still can't see. All right, I'll read it out to you once again. They are sure the extra planning will make a difference in the end. Identify the variables. It's still loading. Am I audible to you, Kimadri? Can again, please? Am I audible to you? There's we your... Can you see the screen? Uh, you can say the answers one by one. Okay, it's loading. Um, you can say your answers one by one. Yeah, I just need to <laughs> the picture loading. It is still not loading. Yes, it uh, has come. Okay, they are sure answer. that extra planting will make a difference in the class. Uh, Pass. Okay, we seem to be having a hurting his, uh... There seems to be a connectivity issue. You may take your time. Okay, go. You still have you have like ninety seconds in total. You have forty eight seconds left. So we expect you to cooperate. Yeah. Do we still have you with us? Okay, so we seem to be having a connective. Uh, Hamadri, can you hear me? We have not been able to connect. Wait, Hamadri. Copying. Copying is noun. I mean, Zirand. And what part of the battle about? About his preposition. 
All right, uh, that your time is up. So I will have all my participants back with me, marking the end of all three rounds. I have my adjudicator back with me, uh, Upomapu. If Upomapu had anything to say, I would like to give the floor to Upomapu. Uh, thank you, Zaid. So it's been a pleasure to witness all your performances uh, today in the Grammar Nazi part. And I would say that it's really inspiring how all of you have prepared uh, in this situation. I know all of you are not in a very good mental state, but still you have studied, you have prepared. So good job uh, regarding that. And uh, I saw because of some uh, technological errors, some of you uh, couldn't perform the way you expected to. Uh, but I would say uh, don't lose heart. It's just part of the game. And uh, I hope you will do better in life. And good luck and good wishes to all of you for the next uh, part you. of your work. Thank you, so, Apu. Good job. Thank, you. Thank you for your kind words, Apu. So we'll be moving on to the results once uh, they are ready. Uh, meanwhile, we will be reading the Facebook comments that we have. Okay, so let's see what the audience are saying. If they are Rahman says, good one, guys. Uh, Esan al -Haq says, everyone is a champ here. Don't be uh, sad. Then the other comments we have are, Lohan Alam says, it's too much interesting. It indeed is because the questions are increasing in complexity and the agility with which the participants are answering them, it's actually pretty amazing. Tahia Tarannu Abuni, this says the host also did really great. To, like, to be very honest, there, I don't have any hand in here. It's all the participants that are participating and making this such a great competition. I think we have the results with us already. So this is the points table. May I remind you that the top two will be moving on to the finals of the Grammar Nazi of the Pro-Linguist Battle of Linguistic Wizards. So in a few moments, the results will be published on our live. M.M. Abiru Rahman says, the questions were so tough. I agree. The questions were really complicated. Okay. So we have our points table. Leading the points table is Janatul Ferdos Nipa with 25 points. K.M. Omar Farooq uh, in second place with 19 points. Uh, in third place, we have Nubahos uh, Suha uh, Choudhury with 15 points. And in last place, but not least, is Sabikun Ara Himatri. So the top two will be moving on to our finals. Congratulations to Jannatul Ferdos Nipa and Omar Farooq. You have proceeded in your journey towards winning it all. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you to all the participants for participating and more than 3,500 participants for registering. Thank you to Upama Apu sir for being such an amazing adjudicator and judging this very tough competition. Thank you to the audience for being such great audience and supporting everyone all the way. With that, I would like to close this semi-finals of the Grammar Nazi. My name is Zadik Kram and I will be signing off. Assalamu alaikum and good night, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, goodbye.